Hola there, my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter and bienvenidos to my kitchen where I'll be teaching you how to cook for charity. Man, guys, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of in a pickle. I'm running low on monster supplies and I need to make the rest of the elixirs for the Legends Cookbook, a Breath of the Wild inspired cookbook that you could physically own. I'm doing it again. I'm plugging in the cookbook. Well, if you want to learn more about this cookbook, you can check the description below and follow the Legends Cookbook on Twitter where we post news updates, beautiful photos, and amazing artwork from this cookbook. It's going to be a beautiful, breathtaking cookbook that you are guaranteed going to love. And also, if you enjoyed any of my previous videos or recipes, I'm actually the lead chef, so I can guarantee you're in for a tasty time. But shameless plug-ins aside, I can't finish this cookbook if I don't finish these elixirs, and I don't know how to gather some of these monster supplies. Well, YouTube user Metroid suggested that I should make the bait from the original Legend of Zelda game. So it had me thinking, if I make this bait, place it down, maybe you'll gather some monsters, we can hunt them down, gather the supplies, and finish the elixirs. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to make the bait from the original Legend of Zelda. So without further ado, let's get cooking. The ingredients you're going to need for the bait is a pound of lean ground beef, a pound of ground pork, a half a cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of dried Italian seasoning, a quarter cup of grated parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of whole milk, one egg, a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, one tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of dried parsley, a quarter cup of unseasoned tomato sauce, three to four large onions, 16 ounces of whole milk mozzarella cheese, 14 slices of bacon, and some bok choy. In a large bowl, add in your beef, your pork, your breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, whole milk, your egg, your crushed red pepper flakes, onion powder, garlic salt, tomato sauce, and dried parsley. You're going to mix it well with your hands until the meat is well incorporated with everything in the bowl. Make sure you don't overmix the meat. Next, you're going to chop the ends off of an onion and cut halfway through it, peeling off the first layer. Try to peel the onion to get one whole shell. If the shell snaps in two, it's perfectly fine. We're going to wrap it with bacon so everything will stay in place. Do this until you have around 10 shells. Then you're going to dice up the mozzarella into small blocks and cut the bok choy stems into long pieces. Next, gather a palmful of the meat and place a block of the mozzarella cheese in the middle. Place the bok choy over the mozzarella and form a ball with the bok choy sticking out simulating the bones coming out of the meat. Wrap the onion shell around the meat, tightly packing the meat within the shell. Grab three slices of bacon and wrap it around the shell of the bacon. I suggest wrapping the first piece vertical and the other two pieces around the first strip like an X. Then you're going to place the bait on a wire rack on top of a pan so the grease can drip down and bake for 40 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, take out your fresh bait from the oven and your bait from the original Zelda is done. Dig in. Now here's my favorite part of the video where we get the taste we just made. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to take a nice big bite out of this bait. Mm. Oh, so good. So oh, good. Mm. The flavor is phenomenal. Oh. You can eat like 20 of them. You might have a, like a heart attack after eating, you know, two, but they are so good. What's so great about it is that the delicious taste of bacon is that nice crispy skin, right? Bam, you bite into it, and then you get that beautiful crunch of the onion, and then boom, you hit into that meat. And what's so great about the meat is since we put some tomato sauce in there, it kept it moist. It didn't dry it out while it was baking. And what's also good is once you bite in, you get that fresh mozzarella that melts in your mouth. It comes together oh so well. The flavor, you get a little bit of onion powder, that garlic salt, right? That beautiful Italian seasoning. And then it'll kick it off with a little bit of red pepper flakes. Gives it a nice bit of spice. Doesn't do it too much, but gives it that kick that, you know, you want to keep on eating more. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Um, the onion is nice and sweet too. So when you get that spiciness with that sweet, it complements it so well. And then, that bok choy, I'll tell you that, really, really good. Mm. Delicious. What you, what's great about these? It's a perfect appetizer, right? It's barbecue, it's summertime out. Mix some of these, you can pop them in the oven or you can pop them in the grill, whatever which way. That bacon is nice and crispy. That onion is nice and crisp. You bite into it, the flavor is phenomenal. You will not be let down with this bait because 
when I when I see this on the thing, it baits me to eat more of them because they're absolutely delicious. But I have the bait now to get the rest of the monster supplies. But I gotta sneak over. How could I sneak over? Hmm. Well, I have enough supplies to make one elixir. And that elixir is the sneaky elixir. So if I drink this, it should give me some stealth so I can place the bait and catch some of these bow goblins. So without further ado, let's get making some sneaky elixirs. The ingredients you're gonna need for the sneaky elixir is one and a half ounces of fresh blueberries, one and a half ounces of fresh blackberries, one and a half ounces of tequila, one ounce of simple syrup, and to make this simple syrup, you need a cup of water, a cup of sugar, and one lemon, and some club soda. In a small saucepan over medium high heat, add in one cup of water and one cup of sugar till the sugar starts to dissolve. Once the simple syrup starts to boil, add the juice of one lemon and add the other half of the lemon inside the syrup as wedges. Cover and remove from heat. Let the simple syrup infuse for one hour. In a cocktail shaker, add in the berries, simple syrup, and tequila. Muddle down the berries, simple syrup, and tequila till the berry mix is mostly liquid. Add in ice and shake the mixer until frosted. Add the mix into a tall glass or bottle and top off with club soda. Then the sneaky elixir is done. Now let's get some of that added stealth, so cheers. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Refreshing. It is so good. Ooh. It is so, so good. I am a huge fan of tequila. I love it. Um, after a few shots of them, maybe not so, because uh, I'm a lightweight, but I can tell you this, it's beautiful in this drink. That beautiful flavor of those blackberries and blueberries with that lemon simple syrup, it's like a garden in your mouth. It's so fresh, it's so good. And that tequila hits the spot. It's so refreshing, it goes down nice and smooth. And boy, oh boy, after a few of these, you could definitely be sneaky. You might, you know, make a few stumbles if you have too many of them, but one or two, eh, you can become a nice uh, sneaky person. Because they are delicious. I can drink thousands of these. Probably not, I could probably take like more, maybe four or five, and then, you know, I'd be, you know, all the gothic results, you know. But I can tell you this, refreshing and beautiful. Mmm, and that club soda gives it a nice little bit of that sizzle, you know, from that uh, carbonation. It comes together, it is one perfect package. But, the adults can't only just be joining in the hunt, because I know there's a few young links out there who also want to enjoy some sneaky elixirs. So, without further ado, I will be teaching you how to make the non-alcoholic version of the sneaky elixir, so the young link can join the hunt. The ingredients you're going to need for the Young Link elixir is one and a half ounces of fresh blueberries, one and a half ounces of fresh blackberries, one ounce of blackberry or blueberry juice, one ounce of simple syrup, and to make that you need a cup of water, a cup of sugar, and one lemon, and some Sprite. In a cocktail shaker, add in the berries, simple syrup, and berry juice. Muddle down the berries, simple syrup, and juice until the berry mix is mostly liquid. Add in ice and shake until the mixer is frosted. Add the mix into a tall glass or bottle and top it off with Sprite. Then the Young Link sneaky elixir is done. As always, I gotta give a huge thanks to all the young links out there who support my content no matter what I make. So cheers, this one's for you. Mmm. Beautiful. Refreshing, delicious, oh. Beautiful. You're missing out on that tequila, so what? Bam, you put that Sprite in there, bada bing bada boom, combine it with the blackberry, the blueberry, and that simple syrup. Together, it is perfect. Refreshing, beautiful, delicious. It's like a fresh blueberry, blackberry, all natural Sprite in a way. That zest is the added that we need to give it a kicker, just like how the tequila gives the kicker to the regular version. But oh man, it goes down so smooth. When it's nice and cold, you could drink these on a nice hot summer day. Then you can get all nice and sneaky, put some bait down and get those bokoblin horns or whatever monster materials you need. It is delicious and refreshing. Regardless of the version you make, the alcoholic version and non-alcoholic version, they both hit the spot when it's nice and hot. It's so cold, it's so refreshing, and they're both beautiful cocktails. Take it from me, guys. I can down these. They are so good, and you guys might be able to do the same, except if you drink the regular version, just unless, you know, you could take your alcohol, unlike me, and I'm a stick, you know what I mean? Two of them, and I'm like this. But take it from my words, guys. You're going to love it. 
Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said in the past, when you watch these videos, money is made, that money is automatically donated to charity. I keep none of the funds I make for my videos. Every single penny goes to charity. So please, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it on the socials, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, whatever you use. It really, really helps me out. Also, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment below what you'd like to see next on Cuckoo's Kitchen or what you enjoyed about this video. And if you disliked, give it a dislike and tell me why below. I also love reading constructive criticism. Don't forget to click that bell notification to be always on, to be updated when I upload next. And if you enjoyed what you saw here and you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to see more episodes of Cuckoo's Kitchen and whatever I upload. But guys, thank you so much for enjoying this video. Back to that Zelda grind. However, I didn't poll this week's video, so if you want to be able to vote on next week's video, which I will poll probably on Tuesday, don't don't forget to follow me on my Twitter or the rest of my social medias where I'll pull it. You guys can vote and then we'll have our video for the week. But guys, also I cannot thank you enough for the endless support that you're giving the Legends Cookbook. I have some great news. I can't share it because my boss Evan will give me a scalp across the face if I share anything. But I can tell you this, great news, great things are going to happen and I will not disappoint you guys with this product. You guys will love it and I can guarantee it. It's going to have amazing recipes. It's going to have amazing art. We have a wonderful team and I cannot... Thank you guys enough for the support. So if you don't want to miss out on any details, don't forget to follow the Twitter handle, The Legends Cookbook. We'll be updating a few more pictures and a few more things this coming week and the following weeks to come. But that's it pretty much, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I've said that a million times. I will see you guys next week. And don't forget, stay sexy. Adios.